Hey, it's Olga here from olgadictereva.com and Productivity for Scientists. This is where you overcome overwhelm, become more productive, get in charge of your day while feeling happy in your life. And the topic of today's video is five ways to make your 2019 more intentional. Let's talk about it. Okay, the year has just started and there, there is this time when we set New Year resolutions and we set out goals. And the question is how to make it more intentional, how to achieve more of what's important to you. And, you know, how do you want to feel by the end of 2019 in December, right? What do you want to be sharing with your friends? And how do you want to feel when looking back at your year? And I'm just guessing you don't want to just say to your friends or um, to yourself, or, oh, you know, I've just been busy the whole year, right? This is not an intentional. This is just moving forward by default. This is just getting yourself busy and working on a lot of projects without necessarily asking yourself what's important, Right, where do I want to be by the end of the year? So today I want to give you five ways to make it 2019 more intentional. Okay, so this is all what just came up from my private and group coaching calls that we had over December and January now, where we looked at 2018, we've look forward into the 2019 and I help my clients to create that more intention, more more goals, more clarity. So I'm going to be sharing. I put those into, into five strategies for you, okay? So the first one is come up with a theme for your year. Yeah, it's, it's a word, one word that you want to lead you throughout the whole year and We've discussed just now with my clients how it could be more uh, productive than just having New Year resolution, which is very easy to break, right? A lot of us just break our New Year, New Year resolutions fairly quickly. So have a word, a theme for your year that would guide you throughout the year that will help you make decisions that will inspire you to take a certain type of action, right? Um, that will serve you as an inspiration through ups and downs, okay? So, and it could be um, courage, change, adventure, forward, um, calm, completion, embracing. This is just a few... Uh, examples from the words that that my clients been sharing with me, and uh, and you you see it's a lot of like forward movement action, but for some it's more like being calm. That that comes from a, a busy mom who's just had her PhD and now a job and many children. Right, she wants to experience more calm, being more present with her children and at work so choose your word of the year and you know by asking yourself where do you want to be directing your yourself this year okay so the second uh, strategy uh, another way of making your 2019 more intentional is uh, break breaking the whole year down into quarters and ask yourself, what are you going to be focusing on each of those quarters? So it's like every three months. And we did it with one of my private clients. And for her, it was like really clear. So the, the first quarter is going to be this project. The second quarter is going to be this focus. The third one is going to be this fo uh, focus. And the last three months... <clears throat> So we've got what October, November, December. That's going to be this focus. Okay. So break it down into quarters. Ask yourself what's going to be your main uh, project, main focus. Okay. So that mm -hmm. could be really, really helpful for some of you. This client, she was like so excited because suddenly she had so much clarity about where her year is going and what she's going to be focusing on. 
Okay. So <clears throat> the way number three, third strategy for today is <clears throat> to create goals. Okay, this is a very simple one, and for some of you, it's a really uh, an easy one, and you've been doing it, but you will be surprised to know how many people actually don't do this, okay? Or someone <clears throat> just said, oh, I'm going to create goals with, you know, that means with, with deadlines and milestones, and she got so excited about it and so that made me realize that many people don't actually do it so if that's you so this is what you you need to do now for your 2019 create goals come up with the goals and it could be um, you know simply the number of papers you want to publish okay so what is this number you know if it's um three papers you know you need to write and submit you know, come up with your own timeline, with the deadlines, with the milestones, with the intermediate milestones that you want to hit. And so um, we've got 12 months, divide by three people, so it's like four months per paper. But if they could overlap, for example, you could put now down the first draft and the second draft of the first paper. And then after that, you can... I'll send it to co-authors and you can start on the second one okay get the first draft of the second paper then you hear from the co-authors and you work again on the first one but roughly it's going to be four months per paper okay so <clears throat> start creating those goals come up with a uh, self-imposed deadlines, any outside deadlines you can create, and intermediate milestones, okay? So the way number four, <laughs> now it's four, uh, to make 2019 more intentional is include you into those projects, okay? What do I mean by this? Now, I've heard now from several of my clients when they... <clears throat> share with me their projects, their goals for 2019, there was no space for themselves. Like what what they're gonna do for themselves to improve. It's called personal development, right? Are, are you gonna look after yourself in a certain way? Are you gonna do certain like a uh, physical exercise, healthy eating, right? A uh, holidays. Uh, one of the clients said, well, no, I haven't really planned any holidays. Now it's a good time to plan ahead. And uh, several of my clients do struggle with, with the fact that they deal with a lot of emergencies, so they feel like they never can have a holiday. Okay, so then you can have a holiday when everyone else has a holiday as well. So that's a good strategy. But also, you know, book one and just notify everyone else that you're not going to be available. Make sure that there is someone else like a, a um, point of contact that they can contact instead of you. So you could be really proactive about it. Or it could be a, a long weekend, right? Three, four days. So think about it. Open the calendar and think about when when is it going to be, okay? So uh, the other thing is, so yeah, include yourself. That means self-care, any physical exercise, healthy eating, holidays, all right, and then way number five to make your year more intentional is to create daily, weekly, and monthly rituals, okay? So a lot of you have certain daily, like, habits or rituals um, or, or things that you, you may be now kind of intending to do daily, right? And that could include, for example, a writing. So it's good to do some writing daily. Or it could be um, uh, checking the literature. So the, um, the scientists that work with is, is a big issue. You know, when do I read literature, check what's coming out? Yeah, do, do it daily a little bit. It uh, could be a cooking, it could be, you know, like we brush our teeth daily and so on and so on. But um, 
while you do this, also think about what are you going to do on a weekly basis and maybe some of the things you would like to do on a daily basis, but it's just not uh, realistic right now. You're very busy and it's just not time. So actually doing it on a weekly basis is still really, really good. Okay. Because you're going to do it 52 times this year. Okay. So if you wish you would do yoga every day but there is never time and then you end up not doing it at all commit to doing it once a week and believe me by the end of the year you will be more flexible more strong okay because you're going to do it 52 times all right so think about it what's going to be your weekly rituals and then think about what you're going to do monthly. So it might be going out for movies monthly, maybe seeing certain friends monthly. Again, you might want to see them every week, but the, our, your life is just now too busy. Okay, you might, you might want to shift it with time. And this is something we work on here at the Productivity for Sciences, but right now it's not possible. Okay, so commit to do it monthly. It's going to be 12 times this year you could do it. And maybe you will see 12 movies. Maybe you will see that particular friend 12 times this year. So commit to doing this. Schedule it into your calendar. All right, so 2019. So this is mine. Schedule it and, and do it. Okay, this is all for today. So you've got first theme of the year. Second, break down the year into the quarters. Third, create goals with deadlines and milestones. Fourth, include you in your project. And fifth, create daily, weekly, and monthly rituals. Pick one, implement it, and let me know in the comments how it helped you create more intention for this year, okay? This is all for today. I want to ask you two things. If you're not yet receiving this videos into your email inbox, go to my website, olgadekterieva.com. Go to the top, download your free resources that will help you also to become more productive. And you will also receive these videos into your email inbox. And second thing I would like to ask you is think of someone to share this video. Okay, maybe it's a good friend, a colleague, send them with a recommendation. Okay, this is all for today and I wish you an intentional 2019. Bye and I speak to you soon.